Hello, my name is Ranveer Singh Dala. Today, in this video, I'm going to talk about English speaking importance of listening. So we all want to be good speakers, good speakers of English. The importance of this language cannot be cannot be emphasized more. And in, in learning the language properly, we do need to understand language skills. And to learn English language, there are, you know, we need to keep in our mind four language skills and importance of listening as a skill in in the order of order of those those language skills so there is a sequence if we want to learn english or any language for that matter we need to follow a certain sequence of skills first and foremost the most basic one is the listening skill then comes the speaking, then reading, and at last comes the writing skill. So this is the natural order of learning a language. But this is not what we generally follow. We expect, you know, from a child, a nursery going child, a toddler, one, one who joins the school for the first time, prep or, or primary classes, first class, you know, beginning of his school, we do expect him him to, to, to learn something concrete. And unfortunately, listening does not look to be something concrete. We expect children, you know, we, we feel happy when, when our toddlers, when, when small children come back from school, you know, having some, some homework in, in, the, in the written form, in, in their notebooks given by, by their teachers feel happy that they are doing something. But in the natural order, listening is the most important skill. First and foremost, we need we need to to, to give more and more listening exercises for our children. We need to speak in front of them again and again in the correct tone and accent, you know, the correct sentences of the language. We just we just have to create an environment in which he he listens to those those sentences. Those sentences, you know those sentences are there in in, in, in his environment. He starts picking those sentences. You know, when he or she hears them. So there is a difference between hear and, and, and listen. First, the child won't make any conscious effort. We have to speak and speak, you know, as much as possible so, so that, you know, first uh, he will just, he will just hear those, those sounds, those words, sentences, they just, they just fall upon his ears. And after passage of time, you know, lapse of time, where he feels like speaking. So the child has to has to be has to be put in an environment. The environment has to be created at school, at home, or or in his surrounding, if if it is possible. So this you know applies to others as well who want to be good speakers of the language. They should listen more and more. Listening. Only after listening, they feel like speaking. The next order, the next step in the order of language skills. And two other skills, reading and writing, come later on. So the basic skill, listening, is, is very important. Then what should be the process of this listening? 
generally what what we see around us in schools colleges in classes you know children are sitting silently they they are not speaking and the teacher assumes that they are listening but listening is is not that kind of an activity it's it's not a passive kind of activity it has to be a conscious effort you know listening involves conscious efforts efforts are involved we cannot think that our ears are open we are not speaking so we are listening that's not the case listening is a conscious attentive activity one has to make efforts when one listens to somebody so if we want to be good speakers we have to be good listeners conscious listeners attentive listeners that is very important and then what do we need to to listen to what do we need to listen to we need to listen to good models of language if you are learning if if you want to speak english then we have to listen to good models who speak good english so these models they may be teachers language teachers for students and for others there is an important medium that is television we all watch television television is an easily available medium a piece of technology that is available everywhere so television can help a lot in listening earlier it was radio but nowadays the television is is more is is more prevalent almost in every home so what do we need to listen to what do we what, what should we listen to what are those models on television it's better if we listen to english news there are you know news channels so start inculcating this habit of of listening to english news and those those you know those news those news should not be just you know there are certain news channels on which you know people keep on quarreling and but there are some other you know there are some programs on which uh, the the journalists are are well equipped they are good speakers and and the person whom they interview they talk to they are also quite prominent in their fields they have good command on the language so we we need to be selective regarding these programs so listening to good english news and then you know watching movies there are movies certain movies uh, which are easy to understand the kind of storyline they have drama movies particularly and movies which children enjoy simple storyline so it's better if you watch those movies and these days you know these channels movie channels most of them they they publish subtitles when the movie is 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 running on on these channels when the movies are broadcast so we should watch those movies with subtitles reading those subtitles does help later on you know a stage comes when we do not need any of these subtitles we do get you know uh, get a hint of 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 the language we feel the environment of that language the tone accent we we start understanding that aspect of the language we start guessing the meaning sometimes we 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 miss certain words but you know by listening to certain other words in the sentence by the way the actors speak from their accent from their tone intonation we start guessing the meaning so that stage comes a little later so watching movies 
uh, on television or or cinema english movies there we should be we should listen to those dialogues attentively then watching certain you know our favorite serials even hindi serials there also you know certain english words are used so we should be good listeners there as well and watching matches you know listening to the commentary even on the radio that is quite a good source as well that is quite you know an activity which which we enjoy a lot we we do like to listen to commentaries you know these days you know ipl is going on and other you know most of the time you know one or the other series is going on so listen to the commentary there also and you know while listening to these you know we need to be selective as as i said earlier good models we need to imitate we need to listen to good models if if you know sometimes sometimes we do not get those good models like you know when certain programs are there where you know people do speak particularly news program do speak the language but not the proper language they do make grammatical mistakes and all that so listening to good model we need to be selective really regarding these programs so those are the things that we should keep in our mind really to be, to develop listening skill and and we need to be patient as well to develop this skill this this doesn't happen in a day or two it is a continuous process it does take time we keep on listening to the language really from teachers and all all other sources those which i have just mentioned we keep on listening to them really for quite a considerable period of time you know it takes time even you know uh, i i do observe children in in my class they have been studying english as a subject for for 12 long years still i went to put up questions to them they do understand my english they do listen to me but when when they have to answer they they hesitate they speak you know they start speaking in hindi they insist that they should be allowed to speak hindi they know the answers well so it's not as if they they do not listen to the language they have been listening to this language from different sources available in his or her environment so you know in comparison to hindi when we when we uh, hindi is more prevalent in our environment from from a child's life from first day of his life onwards that is you know prevalent he is bombarded he is you know overwhelmed with the atmosphere in which he listens to he, he hears hindi all around so that 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 becomes quite a natural process to learn hindi words to 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 learn speaking hindi as a language so in 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 english we we have to have that patience we need to wait but you know that doesn't mean we should lose heart it doesn't come in a day you know years 12 long years english as a subject but 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 we do not have you know we we do hesitate we have that inhibition we do not find that flow we we do score well in exams no doubt about that even more than 90% but speaking part we do lose confidence really. so so we shouldn't really we should keep on listening to those models wherever they are available in our environment whether you know they are easily available or whether we have to seek them from different sources even even on 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 social media social media does help also there are videos on so on, on youtube and other sources there also we can take help so whatever the media is we need to listen attentively and we need to keep in mind that it is a conscious process it involves efforts it's not something passive it's you know if we are just sitting 
with open ears, not speaking, it, it doesn't guarantee we are listening. So by, by getting aware about the true process of listening, by realizing the true process of listening, the ideal process of listening, we can be good listeners. And, and, and listeners, good listeners, are, you know, they, they become good speakers. Good listening inevitably leads to good speaking. So, that was all for this video. I, I, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you found this video useful, just press the like button. And then leave your comments in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any of my coming up videos. Thank you. See you again. Bye.